What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition, Chief Marketing Officer, TigerFitness.com, IFBB Pro. Check it out. Let me tell you about how my week's been. It's been really shitty. I faked it. Faked it, faked it, faked it. And I lied like a motherfucker to you guys. But today, I am right. My water's back. I'm going to tell you exactly how I felt after winning my pro card. Not how I felt emotionally. Obviously, I was on cloud nine. And why it was happening. But I'll tell you what. It's been a shitty week. And I've had to mentally power myself through this week. All right. So fast forward. Friday night, I slept great. Woke up naturally at 4.30, tanned, jacked, ready to earn my pro card. And I saw a comment on YouTube saying it was all politics. What the fuck pictures were you looking at? What were you looking at? Oh, what are, no. No, no, the super heavyweight alone looked amazing, and his class looked amazing, and the guy was hard as nails and dry and fucking amazing, 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 amazing. The middleweight was amazing. Thing is, I was bigger than the middleweight with a smaller waist, and I was more conditioned. And super heavyweight, when you compared my X frame and my shape and my conditioning with his hardness and his size, I won. Fair and square, no doubt about it. Straight ones across the board, baby. You can't phase me. I won that shit. Can't bring me down. And if you say it was politics, you can eat a fat outright bar. So check it out. So I'm like, all right. And then people go like, oh, you have no arms. That's cool. I guess I'm an armless IFBB pro, motherfucker. You know who didn't tell me I had no arms? Jay Cutler. You know who didn't have to tell me I have no arms? Phil Heath. You know who didn't tell me I have no arms? Brandon Curry. Basically, everybody who's awesome. You're not awesome. They are. And they think I'm a fucking good pro and I'm going to rap her motherfucking Zen at the Chicago Pro on July 22nd in, well, for now, Chicago, Illinois. I'm going to enjoy this ghost beverage. We have a TigerFitness.com. Mmm. Mmm. Watermelon. So check it out. I want to go over how I felt. Now, I felt good Saturday, but I was tired. My body hurt. Jose had me posing three hours a day. Three hours a day. My body felt like it was going to fall apart, but I pushed through. Prejudging was hard. I did two classes. They worked us a lot on stage. Man, it was, and we were up there for, for probably 15, 20 minutes, posing as hard as we could. It was hard. It was hard. Between shows, I rested. I relaxed. I got out. You know, I, I hung out. I, I did what I could. I tried to nap. My body was hurting. It was hard to go to the night show. Very hard. Because I was tired. But I knew that I had to push through. And I knew I'd be fighting for that overall. I knew it. I knew I won my class. But I also knew there was this studly, nasty, grainy, dry, super heavyweight that I'd be standing next to. And I'm going to give up a good 15 pounds to the guy. So I'm like, all right, we got a battle. So I got it in my head. I went there. My body's tired. Now, you ever get in a conversation, it changes everything. Mike Israetel was sitting down. No idea who he was. He was in a hoodie. He had no idea who I was. I was in a hoodie. We started talking. We were best friends. We were making jokes. We were talking about penises. It was amazing. And, uh, and it got me through. Soon as you know it, it's time to go on stage. And the middleweights were going. And they're like, okay, heavyweights get glazed. I got my glaze. Got a little pump. Went up there. Did my thing. You've seen the videos. I'll save you that fucking time, right? So fast forward. Saturday night, we go get the free meal. I eat the burger. I eat the cookies. I'm full. I haven't, I'm not used to eating that shit. Like, I'm full. I'm full. But I'm happy. I think I can sleep. No. No. I slept maybe two hours. And then I got up. And I have ADHD. <laughs> I looked at my phone. And I saw I had 800 plus DMs on Instagram. 800. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at Mark Lobliner. I'm like, oh, shit. So I started. I'm like, I'll just answer 10. I answered all of them. By that time, it's 6, 6 a.m. So I get up, and I'm like, dude, I want a real breakfast. So I just went, and I cooked some eggs, had a little bit of cream of rice, just nothing crazy, right? I, I was done. I got, I got the cheat out of my head, right? So long story short, fast forward, I couldn't walk. I went to the gym, to Lifetime, and I was training with a couple of our friends from Twitter, myself, Matt Stevens, and we go there. 
And I'm like, dude, I'm just gonna do some single joint movements, right? And at that time, like I dried out, I dropped water. I had no water left in my body. I was drier than an 80 year old's vagina. And um, so I'm, I, I start out, I do a set of leg curls. And I felt a little eh in my left, eh, there's like that in my left, in my left hamstring. I'm like, all right. So then <laughs> I'm like, let's go. Second set, it was at 50 pounds. Now I normally do like 180. Second rep, my fucking hamstring just locked up. And I fell off the bench. I literally rolled off the bench. And I'm like, Matt, I think you should train alone. So I went over and they had a Cybex um, uh, a squat press, a leg press, right? So I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to pump it out. I put on two plates on each side. I did 10 sets of 20. Finished with some sauna. Felt good. Went to lunch with some amazing people. I felt great. My energy was great. And then we get to the airport at like five and I crash. I couldn't think. I couldn't walk. Like Matt's walking. Matt Stevens, he's walking all. And I'm fucking like, dude, 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 dude. My legs just did not want to work. I felt good mentally. I was cracking jokes. I was having a good time talking to people in the airport, talking to the flight attendants. And um, I just couldn't get right. So I land. Time we get to bed, it's 2.30 a.m. And... um I have a little trouble falling asleep. You know, I shower and everything. And so then I go and uh, the next morning is carpool. So I'm up at 5 a.m. So I got two and a half hours of sleep. I'm up at 5 a.m. So I, so in the last game, I didn't sleep the night before. I got like four total hours of sleep between Saturday and Monday. So I go do carpool and I'm like, I'm not going to nap. I'm going to reset my circadian rhythm. So on Monday, I do all this stuff. I actually went to the gym and I trained with Matt. We did shoulders. And it was okay. It was a shitty workout, but I just could not get right. I was moody. I was angry. I was sad. I was happy. I was glad. I had basically fucking PMS. So I'm like, dude, I feel like shit. So on Monday, I went into the sauna for like 20 minutes after I, you know, I went to my daughter's practice. Well, my daughter had practice. I went and I, I, I went for a walk and then I slept. I slept a good five and a half hours. Woke up Tuesday morning and I was like, Shit, I still feel like shit, but I pushed through the day. It was a very hard day. I had training. I also went and I um, I had to coach. So you guys know I coach full-time at a high school. I coach strength for the wrestling team, and I trudged through it, man. I worked through it, and the kids motivate me. Like These kids know they motivate the hell out of me every single day. Every single day, these kids motivate me. And they got me through it. And I was yelling and screaming and jumping. And then I took my daughter to her practice. I went to walk my dog. And I literally could not get out of the car. Like my legs locked up. Everything was fucked. So I got home. I'm like, Katie, I don't know what's going on. But I need to get right. I'm going to sit in this sauna for 40 minutes. Sat in my sauna for 40 minutes. Hydrated while I was in there. And uh, I came out. And I'm like, oh, shit. I feel good. I'm like, Katie, I'm going to be perfect tomorrow. Went to bed. Got seven hours of sleep. Woke up, boom, Mark Lobliner's back. Wednesday, I didn't even have to train. I felt so good Wednesday morning. It was off day. I went and did nine sets of squats in my home gym. And at around 2 p.m., before I went and coached wrestling, I did arms. So I did about uh, 20 sets of arms. It was awesome. Woke up this morning feeling like P. Diddy. Had to get going real quick. I had some deep tissue work. And um, I trained with Courtney, got the 150s on bench. I am back 100%. Water's back. So my weight, I weighed in at 210. I got on stage probably around 214. I was 210 on Monday, and I was back to 215 on Wednesday, 214 today. Now, that's how it goes. Now, let me tell you what really helped me today. So I went in, and my buddy Chris Raider at Raider Body Works is fucking amazing. I'll put his info down below on Instagram. Go follow this guy. So he is the greatest deep tissue artist I've ever seen. He's big on cupping, but the way he does it is different. And he actually does the scraping, the cupping, and pressure points, man. He was fixing my back by pushing through my psoas, my iliac, all that shit in here. I feel like a new man. My body was messed up. My body was tight. I'm be going to him a lot, getting deep tissue massage a lot, probably every week. Because I noticed that when I hit certain shots, I can't get there. And that's going to take manual manipula manipulation. But cupping is amazing if done right. What it does, think about it. It pulls the skin away from the muscle. Allows shit to flow in. Right? Nutrient delivery. A lot of people just cup. That's stupid. 
after he cups you and he loosens that up, releases all the toxins, he goes in, goes in, goes in. And you're like, holy shit. He got some areas in my quads. Again, he dug into my stomach. My back is a, my back's been tight since posing. You don't understand. You have to squeeze your lower back in posing. It hurts. My hamstrings, my calves. I can't wait to train legs tomorrow. I am right. I'm 100%. I feel better than I did for the show. The next video I'm going to do on this topic will be what I'm doing for health and how I stayed healthy throughout my prep. Because this is going to be an update, right? But look, I'll tell you this. I'm going to get my blood work done. I'm going to post it. And you guys are going to be like, holy shit, this guy's healthy. I don't fuck around, man. I'm 41 years old. 41 years old. I'm a multimillionaire. I don't need to risk my life for bodybuilding. I just fucking don't. I have a beautiful house, beautiful kids. I can liquidate and just stop working right now, but I love what I do. And my big picture goal, I have two things now. Number one, this isn't number one. This is by far way back in priority is I want to be a fucking IFBB pro and I, re I want to represent the sport and I want to use my IFBB pro card to help raise money for charity. I'm actually going to post a charity link today. Down below, it's my doc, my good friend, Dr. Stu. So you get their uh, treatment, experimental treatment for his son who has Duchesne's muscular dystrophy. I've already helped raise over $30,000 for the cause, but this is directly for Dr. Stu. I want you to go in the description box below and I want you to click on that. Donate $5. I just want you to donate $5. $5. If you can afford more, donate $5,000 but I want you to donate $5. I'm donating a few hundred. I want you to donate $5, okay? $5, $5 is all I ask. Can you do that for me? One thing I ask you guys, just donate $5. It's the first link down below, Dr. Stu, please. I'm begging you donate $5 to Dr. Stu. Dr. Stu's a movement specialist and his kid can't walk. Put that in perspective. Good people, Dr. Stu is, I'm not gonna promise myself I'm not gonna cry, okay? So I want you to do that. I want to basically represent IFBB. I want to bodybuild. Okay, right now I'm doing what I'm doing. My companies, I love doing it. I don't know how much longer God will bless me with that because I don't know. I don't know what the future brings. I don't know what offers we get. I don't know, but I, I could be doing this another 10, 20, 30 years. I don't know. My long term is I want to full-time coach kids. I want to be the full-time strength and conditioning coach at Ravenwood High School. I want to be... Um, I want to have a facility where I train kids. That's my goal. I love training kids. I love coaching kids. I don't, I don't care about coaching adults. I do it. I love it. But if you ever like coaching adults and helping them reach their goals is amazing. But when you help a kid develop into a man or a woman, oh my God, there's no other feeling in the world. I, I, I put this post on my Instagram yesterday. I had a bunch of junior high kids come in who are going into high school. And um, one kid who was eighth grade, but he brought his sister who's a wrestler in seventh grade. She'd never done a controlled squat before. And so I taught her how to goblet squat and I didn't have bands for the cues. So I'm literally there on my hip, pushing her knees together for the, for, for the physical cue so that she can learn not to have valgus happen. She went from not being able to do a quarter of a squat to by the end of a session doing a squat that I'd put in a textbook. That's what I live for. You know, we have two rules in the Ravenwood High School weight room. Number one rule is don't get bullied. But the most important rule is don't get injured. And my kids have not gotten injured this year. They damn sure don't get bullied. Because I love them. I love those kids, man. I love them. I love them. They, they work so hard. They work so hard and they inspire me to be a better person, a better husband, a better father, a better bodybuilder. These, these people, everybody thinks that I'm, I'm inspiring these high school students. It's the opposite. They inspire me to, because I need to be their role model. So I need to be a better person to inspire them. So they inspire me to be better so I can inspire them. Go figure that one out. Everything's good, guys. We're super blessed. Um, Man, this is a blessing. I, I am, I'm, I'm beside myself. Anyway, videos are going to be topsy turvy. I'm in North Carolina next week for some meetings and some presentations, professional stuff. I got to sell some stuff. I also have some really big news. Um, I'm doing business with the largest uh, nutrition retailer in the world right now, 
And we just got the purchase order today, so expect that in the stores. And I'll tell you about it later. I can't say it now, but you could probably guess. And the deal's done. The, the contract is signed and the purchase orders are in. The shipment's going out. Life is good. We're also going to be starting in January in big lots. Outright bars will be in big lots. That puts us at well over 100,000 locations. I'm so blessed. And of course, TigerFitness.com had its record month last month, and it's having another record month this month. It's all because of you guys. I love you. I love everyone. I've been rambling too long. Hope you guys got a little something out of this video. If not, I hope we uh, were just able to spend some time together. God bless. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's the Christmas season. I want you guys to sit down by that Christmas tree. Go sit in front of the fire. Tell your, tell your, tell your family you love them. Life is good. Life is what you make of it. Be blessed. Be good. I love you guys. That's not a game. The best booster isn't a shot. It's your natural immune system. Every time we step out into the world, we are attacked by viruses that do their best to break down our defenses. Vita helps solve this problem. Vita contains proven antiviral replication supplements and Immulina to ensure that your body is primed to defend itself against foreign invaders. Don't go another day unprotected. Get your Vita today.